Hey, problem solvers. Welcome to writing. Before I get started, I really have to say just how proud I am of every single one of you for the work that you've done on your Women in Government project so far. I have seen each and every one of you put together a beautiful project. And I really think that today we can focus on the golden step on putting those last minute details into our books that will allow us to send the book out into the world. And if we do that, then we um, might be able to have a publishing party as soon as Friday before break. How nice would that be? I would love that. So Today is our last day to work on these projects so that we can have a publishing party on Friday. Um, let's, as a class, go over what the golden step looks like. All right, here is our handy dandy checklist. The first thing it says is I have a front and a back cover to attract readers. Now I know all of you made a front cover but now would be a good time to design and add a back cover. This person made a spread illustration that kind of spreads over the front and back cover. You're not required to do that, but you absolutely can. And think about other books and their back covers, because a lot of the times on the back of the book, it'll give you a little preview of what the book is about. So that's something to think about as you uh, work on your back cover. And then we want to make sure that your book has book-like things, such as a title page. But it's not the cover, but that's when you open the book. And there's a title page that says the title and the um, author. Then there's a dedication page. This person wrote um to mrs tab so you can dedicate dedicate this book to anyone really um it could be a family member a friend you can dedicate it to a special place that means something to you to a teacher really to anyone who you think um would feel honored by being on your dedication page and then i want you guys to work on an about the author blurb and it doesn't have to be long, but this is an opportunity to tell your readers about you. Let's take a look at what a um, about the author blurb <laughs> looks like. Okay, so you can add your name, your age, things that you like or don't like, write about how long you've been writing, other published works that you've done, um, maybe even some reasons why you wrote the book. If you need inspiration, you can find some other books that have author blurbs and study the kinds of things that they say. We can look at this example here um, that's written by a six-year-old student. But remember, I'm going to be asking a little bit more of you because we're past <laughs> being six years old, right? So let me show you what I did for my about the author blurb to give you some uh, inspiration. So you can see that I added a title about the author. I put a picture of myself on there so they know what I look like. <laughs> and I wrote, Katie Cronin is a 29 year old from Saugerties, New 29 year old teacher from Saugerties, New York. She currently lives in Brooklyn with her fiance and their cat. And she is a huge fan of plants and dogs. And in her spare time, she likes to take long walks. She ha also has published works such as The Flickering Candle and A Book About Plants. And Katie wrote this book because she believes that it's time to recognize and celebrate the impact of women and people of color that have made history. I'm glad I read that out loud because I realized I had a typo in there. Um, so this is what I would really love your about the author blurb to look like. It's not long. It's not a lot. Just something about yourself. 
It should be about this long. And if you can get a picture of yourself in there, that's even better. Um, now I'm gonna stop the video now because I think that we could all benefit from a little bit of extra time to work on the golden step. And after today, we will be all done with this project and you'll have something that you should be really, really proud of. All right, I will see you on Zoom. Bye.